Hey everyone, I know it's been a while since I recorded any content. I apologize for that. A couple reasons for it. First, work has been kind of crazy lately, but uh, more importantly, I have been running into a ton of problems with my Sonic Pad. Uh, didn't have any idea how to fix some of the things. Some of the things were really strange, obscure things that I let go for a while, but they just kept adding up. Um, it's taken me a little while, but I have finally figured out how to resolve all those problems at once. And I, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hopefully it helps you guys out if you're having the same kind of issues I'm having or any kind of weird random issues. So what are weird random problems? Um, the list I'm going to give you is the problems I ran into. The fix I'm going to give you hopefully will work for other random problems that you may be having. But it definitely helped me with these issues that I'm having, and uh, I would guess it would help with some other problems that others might run into. Uh, first thing that came up for me was when the March update came out for the Sonic Pad, I would get prompted to do the update. I would hit download, and it would just sit at 0%. It wouldn't finish downloading. It would sit for a while and then just time out and go back to the main screen. So from there, I figured I would download the firmware to a USB stick, even though it was the January firmware that's on Creality's site, and try rolling back to that. I would insert, insert the USB stick and nothing. Couldn't do a firmware upgrade via USB either. Finally, I just said, screw it. I'm going to try doing a factory reset. On the Sonic Pad's settings menu, under advanced settings, you can do a factory reset. It would prompt me. Um, I would choose to reset everything, the config files, the time lapse recordings, everything. I would hit OK, and it would just, again, sit there. Nothing. No way to update the firmware. That's not to mention a couple other weird random problems I was having. All of a sudden, when I tried to do a resonance compensation test, it would say the accelerator wasn't detected. Um, and whenever I tried to print something directly from the Sonic Pad display and hit the print button, it wouldn't show me any files that were stored locally. In my case, I store all my files locally. But if I went to the search bar and typed the name of the file, it would come up. So just a lot of weird stuff like that. What was the fix for me? Well, the fix for me was to go to the Sonic or go to the Sonic Pad GitHub and just download the firmware from there and flash it with the flashing tool. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Again, hopefully it'll help you guys out with any weird random problems you have. Just so you know, before you start this though, um, you want to back up your config file and everything. This will completely factory reset your Sonic Pad. Anything you have set up in your config files will be gone unless you put that configuration back into your config files. Same thing if you have a macro.cfg. Again, we're talking a full factory reset. So let's go through that process now. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Creality Sonic Pad firmware GitHub, and I will post a link to that in the description. We need to download the Phoenix Suit flashing software. We're just going to save that to a Sonic Pad firmware update folder somewhere. I'm putting mine on desktop. Once we've downloaded that, we need to go to the IMGS folder and download every part of this multi-part zip file. You have to have every part. It's kind of like a RAR file, only in a zip format. If you don't have all the parts, you will not have the full firmware. So make sure to down them all, download them all separately. And we're just gonna whip through all nine of these.
Um, as a side note, the easiest way to extract this type of zip file later is to use 7-zip. Uh, I'll put a link to the 7-zip download in a separate folder. The typical zip extractor that's included with Windows doesn't seem to handle multi-part zip files too well. <clears throat> that's a fairly simple install. I'm guessing a lot of you have already done it. If you haven't, it's a typical extraction tool. We'll get to it when we get all the files downloaded and I will show you how to get to it and get this multi-part zip unzipped. Once we have everything downloaded, we're going to open up the folder we created and we're going to extract the Phoenix suit executables. I'm going to do that here with 7-zip. Next, we're gonna extract the firmware image, and you can't see it here, for some reason it got cut off, but you need to choose the show more options. That'll give you the old style Windows 10 right click folder. You're gonna choose 7-zip and just extract the firmware image file directly to the folder that you created. Once everything is extracted, we're going to set up the connection to the Sonic Pad. For that, you're going to need a USB-A to USB-A cable. It does not work with a USB-C to A. It has to be A to A. I didn't have one and had to order one. But you're going to connect it to the camera port on a Sonic Pad. The other end is going to go into the, your PC. Once the connection's made, you can use a piece of filament and you'll see the two holes on the sonic pad. You want to push the button in the recessed hole on the right side and turn your sonic pad on. That will start the sonic pad in recovery mode. You won't see anything on the screen, but you will see that your PC is now trying to install a driver. The driver does not automatically install. If you go to your device manager, you will see an unknown device. Just choose update driver and browse for the driver. And in the folder you created, you will see in the Phoenix Suits folder, there is a driver folder. You want to navigate to the driver folder. And just search that whole folder, including subfolders, hit next, and the driver will install. You know it's correct when you see this USB device with all these weird letters. Once that's done, you can just click close. And you can close the device manager. From there, you're going to open the Phoenix Suit software, and you're going to choose your image. The image file is that uh, IMG file that was extracted earlier. Just open it up. And right now it'll say your device is not attached yet. What you want to do, power your Sonic Pad off now that the driver is installed. Use that piece of filament or a paper clip to push that recess button on the Sonic Pad and turn it back on. From there you will see it connects and you will get this menu. Um, when you get this option, you want to choose yes. If you choose no, it'll just do a firmware update without flashing over everything. In my case, I wanted to completely format everything and start it again. I'm not going to actually do that now uh, since I've already done it. I don't want to clear out my Sonic pad again. But 
once you click yes, it will completely overwrite everything that's on a Sonic pad with the stock firmware that we downloaded from the GitHub site. A very important point, you do not want to interrupt that download. It doesn't take long. Um, you don't want to have a power outage. You will more than likely brick your device. So now that all those steps are complete, all you need to do once the firmware finishes flashing is disconnect from your PC, plug your Sonic pad back into your printer, your camera if needed, and uh, start it up. You will start over as if you had just pulled your brand new Sonic pad out of the box. No printer configurations, no nothing, as I said before. You can just uh, copy the file back over once you do your network setup. Your you can copy your config files back over. Personally, I just went through the whole process again just to make sure everything was clean. Gave me a chance to clear out my config file. And uh, hopefully this will fix the problems like it did for me. As a side note, I had done this process after I opened a ticket with Creality. Creality finally got back to me. And basically their answer was, yes, yeah, sometimes this happens. And they gave me this exact same process anyway. So, uh... Hopefully this will save you guys a call to Creality support. And as always, I hope it helps you. If it does, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm definitely hoping to have more videos out soon. I can tell you now the next one's going to be filament changes with the new March firmware. I have not been able to get it to work yet. I'm still playing around with it. As soon as I have something, I will be posting a video on it. And if I can't get it working, I previously had another method for doing filament changes mid-print that did work. So uh, one way or another, I will have something coming soon to help you guys with filament changes if you want to do multicolor prints across layers. Uh, again, like and subscribe. You'll find out about the videos if you're a subscriber. If not, you'll find it on a search sometime in the future if you have the problem. But I will see you next time with filament changes. Thanks.